Hi everyone, Charmila here with another project for um, Lady Pattern Paper. And this time I used the range called Bohemian Muse. And I thought this was just a stunning collection. So I wanted to bring into focus the, um, the journal pages. This unfortunately I only have two pages left after I had finished my project. So um, the colors in here are just amazing. It's very soft, it's very feminine, and really you can use it for almost anything. So, this was supposed to be our class for April, because the ladies wanted to do a kind of a mixed media based uh, um, project, and I thought I'll incorporate an album together with, with the cover being a mixed media idea, um, so that at least we have something tangible at the end of the class. And unfortunately, due to lockdown, that never happened. So I'm sharing it with you all now. Um, I will have a tutorial available at some point. Okay, so if I raise this a bit, you can see that I, um, I used quite a bit of the chipboard elements in the um, collection. I used the stencils that are available as well so that's the script stencil i love script so i i i literally leapt with joy when i saw this one and then that's also a stencil there it's a feather and then on the side i used um this stencil here which is really nice i love that um geometric design and then this is one of the chippies which i i practically deconstructed the chippies um, to suit my design and that's the nice thing about it you, you don't have to use chipboard elements as is you know I often cut them up so this I also cut up here so there's the one part and there's the other part and then I deconstructed the frame and I used the elements to create a horizontal and a vertical um, element on my on my cover and then I also added some some rings these are just jewelry jump rings in different sizes and I used the um, the wording wild and free that came as part of the chipboard elements okay so this is our standard 8 by 8 album with five pages they are available through Kanye crafts so it has a two and a half inch spine the covers are about eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter and it comes ready made with um, five pages all cut to size for you and all you have to do is assemble and this has um, was assembled using the construction tape method so if we open it the nice thing about this binding method is it lays completely flat when you open it which is nice so we've got an opening page here and then a flap here for a very nice, I think this is a 7 by 5 photograph mat, if I'm not mistaken. And then in here, we've got a, um, a double belly band. And um, I really love this arrow with the feathers. So I wanted to make sure that I had this continuation here. So the paper was cut to size to fit in the areas, but I made sure that I had them following like that. And then must have been one of my off cuts so I just made a little photo booklet there so you can slide something in there and oh there, I did have something on the top sorry so you can slide something in there and then you've got photo mats that can also go in there this is a pocket here on the side and this was based on one of Kathy Orta's um, tutorials I didn't follow the entire tutorial I just used elements of it to suit my design so I made little pockets here so that's a pocket there and then on the other side we have her faux she calls this her faux envelope I think it's called and what I did here was I used my nestabilities the smallest ones let me see if I can raise this slightly so if you can see there so those are the smallest nesties in my um, scalloped one I cut them and then I added some 
of the chipboard off cuts to raise it slightly. Um, just glued it down and this is that elasticated silver thread and on the side on the end of it I actually put and I hope the camera can focus on it just those little self adhesive um, I don't even know what you call these little self adhesive um, items that I used to add there and I put two together like that just to show or show you where the end of the um, the string is and then see the arrow there again and when you open this up so instead of having a pocket you've got a full area here where you can add large photographs or smaller ones and that closes like that so I really like that idea that's why I incorporated it into my um, into my album um, I buy lots of Kathy Waters tutorials but I don't necessarily use the whole thing the way she does it I, I uh, adjust it to suit myself and then over here we've got um, two portrait flaps for standard size photographs which is nice and then on both sides so just to add some um, variation so we've got a full picture there but I decided to cut uh, my photo mat down and add some designer paper at the bottom just to make it look different otherwise it just looks a bit boring and then in this paper I cut into the paper to create pockets for some of the journaling cards I like doing that that's also a Kathy Orta idea and then we've got another pocket here and then this is um, we did this at National Scrapbook Day it is uh, what, uh, just a basic 12 by 12 sheet that's been cut up so you've got two areas there and then it opens up like that completely so you've got four spaces on the one side and four spaces on the other side to add photographs to and it folds up very compactly and what I did here was I took one of the journaling cards and I just made a little flap with some washi tape etc and that's just a piece of washi tape at the bottom to add some more interest to the page I like that idea because on that one sheet you can get eight photographs which is so cool and then on the other side so we've got on the one page we've got a pocket there and we've got a pocket here as well and then on this side pocket I created these are just standard photo mats and all I did was add some um, what do you call this now again now I'm hitting a blank some tabs to the um, to the photo mats and I I staggered them so you could see all three tabs while they were in the pocket and then this is one of the journaling cards which is absolutely beautiful I still I'm still going to add some glitter and some um, glossy accents to that area just to um, define it to make it stand up so if I bring it up I want you to see that and um, these are just some of the journaling cards that I so this one I like because it says today and you can add some notes there and this was just a attached with um, I think it's one millimeter foam tape just to give it that that little height so you can stack things in there and then on the opposite side of that we've got two more flaps like the other one and I like the way these flaps are staggered because you can see the photographs um, if you look at them you can see both photographs or part of both photographs at the same time um, and so on the one side here we've got portrait and then on the other side we've got an option for landscape photos which is nice and then this is a repeat of the belly band except that it's got a slightly broader belly band at the bottom and a smaller one on top and inside here you can also add quite a number of photo mats this one was an off cut oh my wow, she's coming loose this one was an off cut um, that I scored incorrectly and yes I do make mistakes <laughs> I scored incorrectly and I decided not to waste that strip I just added a piece of washi tape for interest so we've got that that goes in there and then on this side so this is almost like the middle page 
what I did here was I really liked this paper but it was too small to accommodate for my 8x8 page um, because this one is ideally suited to a 12x12 layout and the idea was so stunning but I had these two flaps if I open it like that so these I haven't put any photo mats in here because I want to put big photographs straight onto the page so I've got the flaps that go that way but they also open up like this and I'm going to slide it across now so you can see while I'm explaining so I've got it on this side I cut up the paper so unfortunately I lost some of the bottom of the wreath but I managed to keep most of it um, and because they lay next to each other I get that continuous look there so that's the one side and then if we slide it over we've got the same on the other side um, I really like having that continuation so besides that what we've got in the middle is two pockets here and then I cut up some of the leftovers of this page that I had left over I cut that up so that I could um, create a little insertion point here so that's where those little um, so those are just smaller um, photo mats that go in there and then in the pocket here I've got two large so which you can either use for journaling cards or you can use um, as photo mats but I just decided to add some stenciling to it and this is the same stencil I used on the spine and that's the um, the script stencil I love this little detail on the edge vernica this is really nice really really nice um, so those are two photo mats that fit into the pocket there and then on the other side we also have a pocket and that's the other stencil so I, I had and these are most of these uh, photo mats are my leftovers after I finish the album I try to incorporate all of them so I don't have a lot of waste so um, I try to make sure that the st standard photographs can fit on and if not I do print some of my own pictures so um, I will print them to size and then this is also um, this was a piece of off cut that I had um, of the journaling cards I think yes it was it was the fine joy in the ordinary but I had used that side of the paper so this just this little pieces were stuck so I cut that out and I used it as an insertion point so you can add two small photos there or a journaling card there just to add some extra interest to your album what you could do on this one as well is cut into it and use it as a insertion point as well and then the old famous um, waterfall feature which I enjoy using because it gives you the opportunity to add several photographs onto one page and the reason why we can add all this bulk in between the pages is because you've got the half inch spine here just remember that when you're creating you can make your, um, your um, page separations so I normally use a half inch but if you want to add more bulk you're going to have to go with a greater um, width here but just be cautious that it might if you're adding too much bulk to your album you might cause the pages to have some strain on them so you have to be considerate in that regard as well and then this clicks close with my favorite sound the magnet and we've got another faux pocket or faux envelope here I did the same thing except I just added some pearls to that one and it opens up like that so I added for this for the benefit of viewers I added um, an example of photo mat layout here okay and look how beautiful these feathers are the colors are just so stunning I love how that gray just blends in with that as well then we've got our last page which I've left for a large photo and then on the back of the, um, the cover I created a little flap which leaves you space for one big picture and then I just created a little layout here with um, 
So that is a portrait standard jumbo and I think those will be three and a half by three and a half picks or three by three picks. And then these are from the cut-off strips and that's just an off cut. So I plan my album. If you've never watched any of my videos, what I do is I cut the papers and I leave all my strips on one side or my off cuts. And as I carry on, before I cut into another sheet, I will check and see what I've got left over to make sure that I use up all my strips. So I have very little wastage when I'm done. And then this, I used that paper there so that it incorporated with the background here. And then I used this one, just to show you how I was thinking when I did this, this flap. I used this one because it had a lot of grey in there to accommodate with that. And then of course this is the reverse of this paper and it had the, the light peachy tones in and it matched with that. So that's how they all collectively worked well together. And the same with this. This lies next to there so I could use that same colour scheme there. And then for the back, I just kept it simple. I love this arrow paper. I really like that design and the shading in this paper. So that's where um, I ended it. And what, what I normally do with all my projects is when I'm done, I spray it with a clear coat of, um, uh, um, what do you call this? This aerosol spray paint that you find. That's a tip my friend Belinda Basson gave me. And um, so I just spray everything to make sure that they are sealed and it just keeps everything nice and clean. The dust doesn't get into everywhere. Um, it um, protects your, your work as well. And that's my lady pattern paper design for my April class, which never happened. Um, I... I do have the notes or the, um, I, I took photographs as I did this one, so I will be doing a tutorial on this, uh, hopefully sometime soon. And what I am planning to do is, after lockdown, we can chat about it again, um, is we can work out something with regards to sending out kits to people. So if you are interested, you can let me know and the kit will include the a written instruction of the notes. And that's it from me. I hope you guys are all keeping safe and looking after yourself and your families. And until next time, see you in cyberspace. Bye now.